Why'd you do it? Do what? For this man, apparently once just wasn't enough. And this morning, police say the 38-year-old suspected burglar was caught inside this home, the same home investigators believe he broke into just two days ago. It does happen. It's not typical, but it does happen at times. But at a home on the campus of the school, TMI? Very unusual around here. TMI headmaster John Cooper says about 10 staff members and their families live on the 82-acre campus near I-10 and Camp Bullis Road. On Wednesday, someone broke into the home of a family who was out of town. Electronics, clothes, even a Volvo station wagon all taken. So this morning, when campus maintenance workers spotted that Volvo back in front of the same house, they knew something wasn't right. They peeked inside the house and noticed two individuals appeared to be actively burglarizing the house. They brought the car, which had been stolen, back to the house in order to uh, take more stuff. The house's driveway is protected by a fairly sturdy metal gate. So how'd the burglars get the car out and back in again? Police say they simply removed a 20-foot section of this chain link fence right here and drove off. School officials never imagined they'd come back with the car. It seems like something that you know would be very incriminating if you got caught. And that's what happened. Sometimes I think greed gets the best of these guys and they go back for more and a lot of times they get caught. Police say one of the suspected crooks managed to get away, but the other is now behind bars, caught at the scene by campus security. I think it's a good testimony to the quality of work that they do and the level of security that we have at TMI. Police say there have been other recent burglaries in the area. Investigators are working to see if they can connect this suspect to those cases. In the newsroom, Robert Price, Fox News at 9.